everyone, it's Donna and Tate with Godly Family Discipleship, and we're here again with uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Uh, we're going to discuss verses 19 through 23 today. I'm going to read verse 19, and then we'll get the discussion started. Um, it says, Though I am free and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. And the Apostle Paul is not talking about compromising. He's not talking about... Of doing anything sinful. The Apostle Paul is talking about um, being uh, being able to relate to everyone so that he can win them over to Christ. Right. So what he's saying is he's not going to exclude anyone from the relationship with Jesus Christ. Right. He's not going to stand back and say, I'm not going to those people because they're weird. Or I'm not going to those people because they're different from me. Or because they're not worthy. Right. And, and, and you think about that. And he, what he's really saying is, is I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win anyone to Christ. Mm -hmm. And if you read on through that scripture, he says that when he's dealing with Gentiles, he acts as a Gentile. So when he was in a Gentile nation, he didn't keep the Hebrew customs. He didn't keep the Hebrew laws. Uh, he lived as a Gentile so that he would relate to those people. Those people would see him in their community. And then he said, was it as Jew? He acted as a Jew. And whenever he was in the Jewish people, he kept the Jewish customs, the dietary laws, the, the feasts, and those different things because he didn't want them to be shut out. Uh, he didn't want them to look at him and automatically say, well, we're not listening to this guy because he's not, he's not trying to relate to us. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you have ever been out in public and you just, maybe you're in a doctor's office, a waiting area somewhere, maybe you're just awkwardly standing next to somebody, there's no greater way to start a conversation than to have common ground to have a, a similar interest and you begin to talk about something. Maybe maybe you like a, a, a specific football team or basketball team and you notice, hey, they have they have a shirt on that supports the same team that I like. You can start a conversation on common ground. And it's kind of like that way with the Apostle Paul. He is going to be able to be on common ground with these people in order to uh, be sympathetic, empathetic, compassionate towards him. And they are going to be more receptive of that. Um, it's, it is, um, something that we do on a daily basis with anything. That's right. And, and like Sean said before, he's not talking about compromising your morals mm -hmm. or him hanging out at a bar drinking or, or anything like that. What he's simply talking about is making an effort to relate to those individuals. Uh, not too long ago, we was at Sean's dad's house for his birthday party and Lacey, uh, Lacey come walking through the house holding something that was a little weird got all the kids attention there was a little lizard and the little lizard uh was was blending in with her shirt and it was a a, a, chameleon. a chameleon and you know as christians sometimes that we have to have that same uh i guess attribute as a uh, a chameleon and we have to blend in with those around us a little bit and I'm, like i said i'm not talking about changing who we are uh, the thing about jesus christ that was so amazing is that jesus christ had, had hung out with sinners and they acted more like him not him more like them right. So we have to be influencers to where we're influencing those around us to draw them nearer to Christ, not them draw us further away. Yeah, we've got to be more like Lacey's shirt and not like the chameleon as far as being um, being uh, grounded in who we are right. um, and that they are attracted to us. Uh, but you can, you can uh, compromise, or not compromise, but you can... Uh, be compassionate and sympathetic towards someone without changing your beliefs, without uh, going against the Word of God. And one thing that we all have in common is that we were all lost. Absolutely. The Bible says we've all seen and come short of the glory of God. We were all separated from Him. So we can relate to those individuals based upon the fact that at one point we were separated from God. And we can relate to them in that we did not, like, we did not want to stay in that position. We wanted to escape that position and return to favor with the Lord to where we could have eternity with Jesus Christ. Absolutely. So that'll wrap up our study for today. Uh, going forward, I want you to remember the E4 discipleship. Uh, we want you to encounter God every day, exalt God, edify yourself, and engage this world. Absolutely. Uh, remember to, to study this, read the scripture every week, discuss it with your family and friends. And uh, until next time, we love you and God bless. God bless you.